European executives. Today I am here with my colleagues, Jean Alte and Bo, and we are from Mountain Climbers Consultings. Here at Mountain Climbers Consultings, we believe that every challenge can be tackled and it's like a mountain to climb and we can all reach the peak of the mountain. It's amazing that Rufian Consulting, Rufian Apparel is also um, in on the west coast where you have plenty of Rockies and mountains so you can um, understand where we're coming from and that we can reach the top of the mountain together. So today we are going to go over our uh, um, the current state of affairs at Rufian Apparel. We're going to explain to you our mandate. Um, we have three key for performance indicators and then we are going to do an analysis, have a recommendation for how to for your company to move forward and how you can implement this in the short term, medium term, and long term. Rufian is in the middle of a major change transformation, and it has a negative impact on its profitability in the long term. So in order to address that, we want to under, have a good understanding of the current state. And from our diagnosis, we uh, concluded that the core issues rely on the employee dissatisfaction. And this core issue was this then broken down into three main areas, the high turnover of your recent uh, your short, uh, short uh, part and full time, uh, a significant decrease in sales recently, or recently, and we also want to look into uh, ways to improve your current uh, commission scheme, which leads us to our uh, mandate uh, that we were brought in uh, by Rufian to address its current HR issue and more specifically that will ultimately increase its profit, uh, its store profit uh, across the Kilomwa location uh, through recommending strategic increase for companies. So we developed three KPIs to really go through what this, uh, what, what our solution is going to entail and, and how uh, the solution is really going to benefit the, your company moving forward. So the first KPI that we, uh, we look to strive for is uh, increasing the training cost for employees by 50%, and this is really going to have a, a workforce that, that knows what they're doing and is able to, to sell to the customers and provide the best store experience. Uh, the second KPI um, that we're going to look at today is increasing um, the salary competitive competitiveness ratio by 20%. So this is really going to give you the ability to attract talent and employees into the store and give them the opportunity to succeed um, through the training program. The third and final KPI that we're, that we're going to focus on today that can really benefit you moving forward is uh, improving the employee satisfaction index by 60%. And this is really the backbone of uh, the opportunity that, that you have in, in the Kelowna location to really succeed. So these are our three KPIs uh, to keep in mind throughout the presentation that are really going to bring together our solution. Now that we have a good understanding as to how we're going to measure and evaluate the performance at Rufin, we want to have a greater understanding of the three main issues that we initially mentioned. So going from left to right, uh, we started with the high turnover. And we realized that a high turnover is due to a compensation model that can be considerably improved in the long term. We also identified a significant lack of training in the onboarding process and we do see that can have negative effects on the motivation and the enjoyment of working at your location. The second core issue was the decrease in sales. We, with it, we do see that two main uh, drivers of that negative impact is due to non-motivated staff that is not willing to put the extra effort to bring Rufian Apparel to the next level. And we also see that you are a core, you focus your product mix on specific product selection and giving the high variety and the high expectations of any clients recently, we do see like the areas to improve for Rufian to expand its business offering total, not only regionally, but across the country. Lastly, with regards to the commission scheme, this uh, leads to a, this can be translated into a lack of recognition from the management to the if you don't have a proper commission scheme, uh, your friend will have a lot of trouble in uh, rewarding and recognizing its employees. The second uh, derivative of this uh, of 
different SIF efficiency is that uh, you currently, uh, Rufian has a very generalized uh, sales target that actually applies across its multiple store locations. And this does not take into account the differences in areas, customer preferences, and sort of have a, uh, an unfair taste into the current uh, commission scheme. So we definitely want to take that into consideration going further in the implementation. And based on these three four areas, I think we think all of these three are a function of employee satisfaction. So by addressing those three key issues, we strongly believe that Rufin will be able to uh, enhance and augment the employee satisfaction, not only in the short term, but also so now, thank you for that going forward. We're going to go into a full SWOT analysis. We're going to explain the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to Rufian Apparel. First, we're going to start out with the strengths. Um, it's very high quality clothing um, with well-known brands, and you are competing with other brands with the same level. There is a strong local presence within Western Canada, and you have many store locations, and it is close to home. Uh, it also provides exceptional customer service, and that is what Rufian Apparel prides itself on. So that is definitely a strength of the store. Now, moving forward to the weaknesses, it uh, doesn't have competitive pay for em its employees, and that is one of the issues we addressed. It has unreasonable sales targets, which is the same as the aggressive commission scheme because it is not the same across, it is the exact same across all of the stores where some stores might be more busy than others, so it makes it difficult. Currently, another weakness is untrained staff because of lack of management, and that's leading to high turnover, and there's also limited product selection. So now those are gonna move forward so the so the external factors here are, are really what's what's gonna see the opportunities and, and the threats that, that could arise and and through up on the opportunities we see recruitment events could be an opportunity to get out and start um, that brand awareness in Kelowna uh, along with the talent retention is a big opportunity for you to succeed and have the, the talent within the store developed and, and continue to maintain strong relationships uh, we also believe there there's opportunities in e-commerce product. Uh, differentiation um, and then obviously having some some store growth strategies is a big picture but when, when really drilling down uh, into the Kelowna factor and, and that's the, the key issue right now is uh, having that brand recognition within uh, that community so so the threats look a little different and uh, one of the, the key threats that, that could arise and it, it is an issue in, in all retail is uh, inability to retain top uh, store managers and, and that's an issue um, in the industry and not just uh, with, with with you specifically but there, there's going to be also potential decreases in uh, competitive uh, decrease in sales and that, that could be due to the competition so if there's competition in the market that currently exists they could be taking market share from you as well. Now I'm going to explain to you the human resource analysis of it all. So the issue with Kelowna Apparel right now is actually a human resources issue. So it's important to understand human resources and the root of the dissatisfaction of employees. So with human resources, there's a core task characteristic such as task significance, task variety, task identity, uh, as well as autonomy and feedback. Those will lead to critical psychological states. So with task significance, task variety, and task identity, when you give an employee that as a part of their job, they start feeling that they're experienced and they feel like their work is meaningful. With autonomy, they ex have an experience of responsibility. And with feedback, they have the knowledge and the result of their work. So all of these three critical psychological states would lead to very specific outcomes. The outcomes of having significant tasks would be a higher internal motivation amongst employees. Um, the autonomy you would give employees would lead to greater uh, job satisfaction and the feedback would lead to high work effectiveness. So leading to that, there's 
human resources, and there's a motivation promotion score. So the MPS would be the skill variety task identity task significance divided by three times the autonomy times the feedback. So the greater this score is for each employee, the greater their motivation, the greater their satisfaction with the company. So if overall, Rufian Apparel should aim to increase this score, and we will explain to you later on exactly how we plan to do that with our recommendation. We're confident that the MPS can be an amazing tool for management to track and monitor the progress of its staff in the long run. Now that we have that in mind, we want to focus on how will Rufian address its current HR issue? And we are confident that by addressing those core issues, Rufian will bring back its profitability level short to medium to long term. The first area we want to address is the actual training and development of your staff. And that is why we want to recommend to develop a training program. And why is that important for Rufian? We strongly believe that a the uh, customized catered training program to your uh, part-time and full-time staff will assure that your personnel is educated and informed uh, for any different tasks that are involved in any of your routine stores. The target issue here will be to new and current employees uh, that are seeing a lot of gaps in their training and capabilities to actually do work. And we also see that it will identify, it will address one of our core issues that we identified regarding uh, the lack of talent and employee recognition. The core, the, the, the core HR task uh, that will uh, be resolved through the development of, of a training program uh, will be the autonomy of your employees because they will know what they will do at any, uh, at any moment during their uh, shifts. Uh, great feedback uh, on a regular basis, and last but not least, and that you said uh, a, sig a significant increase in, uh, you know, in, in the task that you need to carry out. The third recommendation is mostly about uh, your, your commission uh, structure. So you want to strengthen your overall compensation package, and we want to do that. We want to help Rufin do that simply because they will help the company and its stores attract talented people that are actually able to do the job and that is, and they will stay into the job. That's why we identified a high increase in employee retention. The target issue here that we've uh, earlier mentioned is the non-competitive uh, compensation that we've identified at Rufian and also uh, the lack of information across your staff. Third and finally, uh, it's within your commission scheme. Uh, so we've mentioned that you that Rufian currently has a rather generalized and standardized commission scheme across all of the stores. So what we want to do is once again curate it to the Kelowna store location and regionalize it. And what are the benefits of that? Well, it can actually uh, revamp and establish realistic goals to its employees such that uh, they can actually get motivated and excited to reach it their either monthly or quarterly goals. The target issue uh, that will be addressed with a regionalized uh, commission scheme is uh, the generalized uh, target and also the product selection as it will provide uh, your staff a better ability to uh, to, 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 to offer and uh, sell a different variety of products throughout your stores. As not least, the core task that we identified is strong feedback from a, a catered commission scheme as but not least, uh, the task the task and duties would also be augmented uh, 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 long to uh, short and long term. So, right now, the current structure has all these part time employees um, reporting right to the store manager, but what's missing is the, the two pieces in between. So, part of our recommendation is really to fill these two vacant positions, and that's going to change the whole res responsibility within the store, and this is going to have. Uh, the, the feedback and every, everything in the store is going to operate much smoother if this system is facilitated by two new positions. So in the, in the future structure, by having these two positions built, instead of all, all of these part-time employees reporting right to the store manager, there's the ability for these part-time employees to go through two 
uh, two stages, and this is going to have the, the store running smooth, especially when the store manager isn't able to be there. The store is going to operate for many more hours than the store manager is going to be able to be in, uh, in the location for. So part of our recommendation is really to get on hiring those, uh, those, those two positions full time. So the, the implementation, it goes through a, a three stage process and stage one is a zero to six month stage and that, that's really gonna be establishing um, what, what the guidelines are moving forward. Stage two is a six months to one year uh, timeline and then stage three is, is really one year and, and moving forward beyond that but there, there's no real cutoff on, on what that stage looks like. So for the first stage from zero to six months we will be looking at revising the compensation package so we are able to attract suitable candidates and retain top talent within Rufian Apparel. After that, we are going to survey Kelowna employees and ask for feedback and see what they believe can be changed within the store. And then we are going to develop the training plan for all new employees across Rufian um, so that it is much more standardized training process so everybody has the same training. And then we are going to start to research commissions and compare them and see what would be reasonable and what region should have what sales targets. So, so in the second, in the second stage right now, it's uh, really important that after you've stopped, listened, and, and done that, that preliminary research in stage one, it's important to really train the employees and make sure that all the work that was done in the first stage moves forward. And then that have that compensation package really rolled out and then that's gonna, in, in turn, um, make sure that the, the commission and sales targets are up to date and, and that's good, like all together, is gonna make sure, like have uh, that brand awareness uh, through marketing and that loyal customer base is really what's gonna drive you to stage three. As it is for any major computer resource transformation, uh, it is critical to see how well the project uh, occurred and what are the potential areas that need to be improved for future projects. Uh, at so first thing we want to do is to conduct an annual survey uh, for feedback to an you want to hear about them. You want to empower them and give them a voice and see where are the areas where Rufin can adjust its current uh, staffing model. This will be done, as I said, on an annual basis. The second thing will be uh, to keep track and monitor on a regular basis uh, how well the employees are actually doing during their job. And we want to make sure that store managers, and as well the regional store managers, has the communication channels to give immediate feedback such that it can address those issues without waiting until the end of the, uh, at the annual survey. Last but not least, we want to make sure that our employees know that we are there, we are here for them. And we want, and store managers and regional store managers need to make sure that it recognizes the efforts whenever an employee uh, reaches their targets, uh, becomes a coach, or gathers uh, a, a, a greater skill set for the so this is uh, the core. The, 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 the core. Uh, so this is why it is important uh, for Rufian to evaluate its uh, employees' performance. So this implementation is is great, but but what's it really going to cost? And, and we've outlined right here in the three stage process that the first stage is going to cost roughly twenty five thousand. In stage two, there's going to be a seventy thousand dollar investment, and that's really going to come through hiring um, the that management in, in that new position to, to facilitate the store. And in stage three, the last stage, we're going to see 65,000 uh, investment, and this is going to be continuing to operate at that higher standard. So going back through what, what this whole recommendation really provided is it checks off all three KPIs that we outlined at the beginning of the presentation. It's increasing the training cost to employees by 50%. We're, we have uh, competitive salaries for you that are outlined with the ratio increasing 20%. And the satisfaction index, which is the base of what our solution really provides for you, is increased by 60%. So the financial forecast, really all together, why do you want to do this? Is it's going to provide you the sales goals that you really had outlined uh, at the beginning when, when you, uh, you talked to us. And this sales increase is, is going to be the benefit um, up to 14. 14,000 uh, moving forward uh, and there's growth opportunities within that.
So the potential sales goals is really what you what you're striving for, and, and that's a perfect opportunity right there. So the outcome is you're going to have change culture through employee satisfaction, stronger communication channels, and the retention within uh, the employees uh, staying within the store is going to be uh, phenomenal. So thank you for your time today. We are Mountain Climbers Consulting, and with this being said, we will help you reach, um, achieve the, and meet the top of the peak with this problem, and we will get there together. Thank you. We can now take any questions you may have.